Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. In New Jersey, they seem to tax everything. The highest property tax, higher gas taxes, income tax, sales tax. And now they're talking about a tax on rain? Our Kimberly Kravitz explains the rain tax. Well, Larry, some are calling this a stormwater utility. Others are calling it a flood defense fee, but most are calling it another tax that they don't want to pay. Saving money for a rainy day may become the law, and most New Jerseyans are not happy about it. It would be detrimental business. You're seeing a gas tax of two years ago. You're seeing high property taxes. Now this would be another tax or a levy. I mean, aren't we one of the highest tax um, states? It's a problem. Um, I don't think we should have it. Uh, once I find out exactly what it is, <laughs> um, I'm sure I won't like it. It's another tax. So. Some don't even understand what a tax on the rain could mean. I mean, I know nothing about uh, the rain tax. Um, I haven't heard about it. From what I understand is um, the municipalities and the government salt the roads and then when they come, the rain washes it away, they want to tax us for a way to, I guess, remove the salt from the, the runoff. I personally wouldn't want to um, pay for, you know, my tax. You know, the rain, you know, have taxes on my rain because it's something that's naturally given, you know what I mean? So why should we have to pay for it? Others say that it's a small cost to live safely. It's really a very traditional way of managing um, runoff, stormwater runoff from properties. We're seeing kids in Camden having to wade through puddles that have raw sewage in them. It's a public health risk. We're seeing raw sewage back up into homes in places like Newark and Jersey City. These are communities that are growing for the first time in decades. They say there's 40 states in our country that are already participating with this and that New Jersey's behind. Are we behind? In, in some states, it's county per county. In some states, it's, it's, it's piecemealed. What we're saying here is we'd like to have a, a more common sense approach, so maybe a regional pack with the states. Now, this bill does not specify just how much this will cost taxpayers. They could set it as high or as low as they want. That's what we're afraid of. Senator Christopher Connors told Jersey Matters that it is important to note the utility fees that this bill would authorize. They'd be regressive, hitting people who can least afford it the hardest. It would also include seniors and those making minimum wage. So now we ask, what exactly would this bill entail? So the affected people would be anyone who owns a property, whether they're a homeowner or a small business or a school. Um, they would be um, charged the fee based on, again, the amount of hardened surfaces on their property. But they also are given an option, which is to reduce the fee by managing that stormwater on site. According to the state climatologist David Robinson, we saw over 64 inches of rain in New Jersey last year. That's 18 inches above average, making it the wettest year on record since 1895. This is a trend that is not going away. We're seeing more and more rainstorms, and as a result, we need more and more options at the community level for how to manage these storms. The bill has passed with bipartisan support both in the Senate and the Assembly. Next stop is Governor Murphy's desk. In Trenton, I'm Kimberly Kravitz for Jersey Matters. All right, thanks, Kimberly. When we come back, they're still talking about legalized marijuana in the state but there's some concern about auto insurance. We'll explain when Jersey Matters continues.